It's La Costa. Welcome to my channel, Real Life Love In Me, where here I provide lifestyle type vlogs and everything else that fit in the category. So, welcome to my channel. If you are new, I would like to say, hey boo, I welcome you to the real crew land over here. We like to have fun and keep it real. So, and if you are uh, returning, I would like to say thank you so very much for being a consistent follower. Y'all, I got this terrible scratch on my finger and it hurts. Um, welcome to another Sunday vlog. It's been a minute since I just did a Sunday vlog and everything. So um, at the beginning of this video, you guys saw me get ready for church. Today is the fifth Sunday um, and it's Memorial Day weekend. So I'm doing two services. Of course, I'm doing my nine o'clock service, which I'm getting ready to head to is 826. So I'm kind of on time. And uh, then when I leave there, I'm going over to my church, which is why I have on this t-shirt. We are in t-shirt and blue jeans today for the praise team because our service is going to be done outside. Yeah, so speaking of outside, let me go and grab these and put these on. But um, yeah, it's been quite a very interesting weekend. For me yesterday, uh, which was Saturday, was a whole lot, a lot. Of, I mean, a whole lot. I mean, literally a whole lot. I still kind of have a headache from it and everything, and I'm still a little raspy. So I don't think I'm going to sing over here at Jerry's Church like I norm normally do every Sunday. So I may find someone to just do a congregational hymn for us and everything. So uh, today... I have two services and then my mom is going to barbecue and we're going to do another um family movie night outside yes last time the last video you all saw it was a tent this time she actually has her gazebo um that was put up on yesterday in her yard so i'm excited to see that i hope it ain't another tent because I told her, I said, you do know there's, there's a difference between a tent and a gazebo. And she's like, I know that. I was like, okay, just, just asking. So, yeah, I got on lashes today, if y'all can see them. I decided to put some lashes on today, so. Yeah, I'm so comfortable, y'all. I ain't have to put on no girdle on top of a girdle. Or try to find something cute and decent to wear to church. Um, yeah, it's just a regular old casual Sunday. I kind of like Fifth Sundays. Normally, Fifth Sundays in the Baptist church world is casual Sundays where you kind of just wear blue jeans or um, whatever. Really, you don't dress up on Fifth Sundays, and I'm okay with that. I, I really am. So, um, I got tennis shoes, blue jeans, and a t shirt. And I'm still debating if I'm gonna keep this necklace on. So uh, I like white t-shirts, but I don't like white t-shirts when I wear makeup. Cause sometimes it gets around my collar and I really, really, really hate that. So I try to pull my shirt down so the makeup won't get on my collar or anything. All right, so I am headed to the church house. I can't, I went over some um, <laughs> train tracks. Yeah, I got the piece to my camera that I ordered from Amazon. I got it on yesterday. And what it is, I have a Sony DS... What was that? I have a Sony DS... Is it DSLR or DSR? I think it's DSLR camera. And it has the mirror on the back, but the mirror lays down. Um, instead of coming up so I can see it because I just like to see make sure I'm in frame and everything while I'm filming so um, I bought the little mirror attachment to go on top of the camera so I got that on yesterday yay but I still have to position my camera the right way on my desk because I really want that camera to film my videos that I do at home instead of my videos when I'm on the go because, you know, some people are very cautious about you pulling out cameras uh, in public. They even look at you now when you pull out your cell phone. So I just keep my cell phone, which is small and compact, 
to record vlogs like this and when I'm on the go and my videos at home will be done on my camera. Is it going to be two different looks? Yeah, because you know, a camera camera lens is totally different from an actual cell phone. And I am filming from an iPhone SR, XR. So it's, it's going to be a little different. So just wanted to give y'all the update. Oh, and I got a new tripod also. Wish that tripod came in perfect timing so I could use it today while I'm outside for service. Boop! Yeah. So, okay, y'all. I'm almost to the church house. And, yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. my services and stopping to get some gas and making a few phone calls so I got out of church I'm gonna say maybe about 1 40 because my church we had uh, worship outside so it was almost like a tailgating type experience so of course after service we ate and just kind of fellowship and tailgated or whatever so and then I had to go down to Jerry's pastor's house to get my phone, which I record this on. And I also live stream the services on for church. So I had to leave that church early so I'll be able to make it to my service on time. But uh, it's hot. <laughs> like for real, it is hot outside. And it's the type of heat that is absolutely draining and everything and it's not even summer yet people say unofficially summer kicks off tomorrow which will be memorial day but i mean we are already experiencing 90 degree weather and stuff like that so i'm thinking it's going to be a very hot summer so i have changed clothes as you saw, I had on a white t-shirt. I don't like wearing white t-shirts when I have on my makeup because sometimes the makeup around my chin and neck area gets on the collar part of my t-shirt. And I really, really hate that. It wasn't a lot, but there was just some areas that I could see. And then I was already hot and sweaty in that t-shirt and them blue jeans. Girl, listen, uh -uh. I don't like sweating in areas that's not supposed to sweat. Mm -mm, that ain't cute so i just came home and uh, put back on my lounge clothes that i had on this morning because i had to go around to my friend tammy's house to pick up my church shirt and um i just had on what is that on my foot you know i just had on this gray t-shirt and some gray yoga pants. So I'm about to laugh. No, I'm about to eat. Um, I do have um, two grilled hot dogs that I brought in from church. So I'm about to eat that with some potato chips and drink me a nice cold Pepsi. Because baby, ain't nothing like either a Pepsi or a Coca-Cola that is good and cold. Blessing your soul. Listen. I had a cold Coke while I was out there at the church. And y'all, when I tell y'all, my entire soul shouted, it did. But um, I'm about to eat that. And then I'm just going to lay low here on the couch under the air until my mom uh, calls me and tells me that I can come on over. I need to fix these pillows on this couch. But guess what? Ain't no need of me fixing them because your girlfriend to lay right on them. My lashes stay on if y'all can see them i don't like the boom lashes or anything you know those lashes that look like you finna fly or they finna leave you no i like something that has like this natural look these are magnetic i ordered them from amazon 
Um, I have to look back in my order history, y'all, honestly, before I link it down in the description of this video. But I've had them for a while, and I really like how they look. Can y'all see them? Ta-da! Is that crust in my eye? Yeah, it is, girl. <laughs> I don't know why that's right there. Probably because... Oh, and I had on my sunglasses during service because outside that sun, the glare is not helpful to anybody so oh that's about it y'all it's just me and my little lonesome self oh i got some ice cream in there in the refrigerator so i probably eat me in the freezer i probably eat me some ice cream also so let me go the m majority of the activities uh, that i want to include in this particular vlog will be um, me hanging out at my mom's house with family um, and then my friend Natalie, who, if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, uh, we went out Friday night for girls night and, um, she was with me and she and her son, they are coming over to hang out with us. She's a musician. She is also my second, well, my assistant musical director for my church district and she serves as the secretary in the gospel group that her and I sing in. And, you know, I serve as president. So we hold many positions, but I think, honestly, the best position that we hold is being um, sisters and friends to each other. And her and my mom know each other as well before her and I got really close in our friendship uh, because she's a musician and my mom is a musician and she's known my mom way longer than she knows me. So my mom says, sure, the more the merrier, which she always says. But yeah, that's about it for right now, y'all. Oh, and then too, I still have my headache, but it's not as bad, but you know, there's still some places where, where I know um, my head is bothering me. So I'm about to chillax and I'll talk to y'all in the next Sing. Yep. Peace out. Hi, people. It's me. I'm back. Totally different look. <laughs> I threw on a sun hat. If you don't know, I am a hat girl. I am. I love me a pretty hat. I really should have went on that pretty hat especially a church hat i am definitely a hat girl i'm headed to i am headed to my mom's house um to enjoy with them i have on a blue jean dress i have on my black flip-flops didn't want to put on any wedges or anything um because nine times in ten i would probably take them off and walk around barefoot or in some house shoes or socks so um and that's it i got on um, white and gold accessories because this dress is it's like a dark blue jean but it has the gold thread in it so that's all just a little comfortable i didn't know if i wanted to put on a, this little navy blue dress that i purchased from walmart very cute baby doll like dress or if I wanted to put on this one. You know, Memorial Day weekend. The holiday is tomorrow. I'm sorry. The day of recognition is tomorrow. That's what it is. This lady was in church today. And she kind of gave a background um, review of... I need that to come down. She gave a background review of the history of how Memorial Day came to and what the whole purpose is and honestly i am guilty uh especially when i first started my blogging days before i got into youtube i used to um make posts saying happy memorial day but she made um great sense that um that it really waited to the last minute she made sense that the day is to recognize those that was on the battlefield and was fighting for our freedom here in 
America. So, for the family that have lost loved ones um, on the field, this day is not so much of a happy day for them. So, and it's called Memorial Day to mem to let me see uh, keep those that have died fighting for the country in our memories. So yeah, I learned a lot. I mean, because you know, you know, America has turned everything so commercialized. That that's not a word. Commercialized. That's a word that we really forget the true meaning of the particular holiday of day of recognition, etc. Uh, and speaking of that, Juneteenth is coming up, June 19th, which is also Father's Day this year. And y'all, I know y'all have seen where Walmart had the Juneteenth ice cream. That's all I'm gonna say. That is all I'm going to say. So, about to pull up to mom's house. There's a motorcycle in front of me. That's why y'all hear the noise. Because you know your girl ain't finna drive around with no car. I forgot my golden white ring. Um, You know your girl ain't finna be riding around with her car sound like that. No. I was going to take a nap, but I did not. I ended up watching some old episodes of Brad Loves Judy because the new season starts on June 9th. I just think they are such a cute couple, like for real. And I enjoyed their show. You know, most people be like, oh, they gay. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're gay, but I still like their show. Just because they're gay, that's not going to make me gay. I like vitamin D. So, I like the show. Anyway, so I was watching some old episodes. In the particular episode that I was watching, Judy and DeBrat's manager, I can't think of her name right now, was um, at the jeweler to buy Brett's uh, ring. And it was a 21 karat ring that cost $259,000. Don't buy me no ring that much, Jerry Gaston. Just buy me a house that costs that much. And I'll hold on to it. I promise y'all will. There's my nugget. Okay, bye y'all. <laughs>